when I did my stint in the military, I was always thinking in terms of promotion, but nobody ever offered me chief margarita officer. <laughs> Seth, I well, this congratulate so you the, for the being at least put it somewhere the else. one person I can depend on here, right? <laughs> You'll yeah, pardon my back, please. Shannon, yeah, I went to my neighbor. She has a pet, pet food store because I didn't feel like I had enough. Is, uh, right. uh, in an official capacity here with an organization that's very important on the border, very important even on a chilly morning. You're going to make me a margarita. Yeah, right? we're going to warm your soul up, right? Okay. Absolutely. Oh, all right. How do I do it the way the pros do it? Well, we're going to walk you through it very easy here today. We have our fresh uh, citrus mix that we're going to start with. And we're going to use that as our base. Okay. And then we're going to go into our perfect Patron margarita. So using a high-end tequila, with it, which is our Patron, and then our Patron citronage to kind of round off those flavors. And I noticed that you have Shannon, by the way. I noticed that you have Shannon doing all of the labor here. <laughs> Shannon Varner, She's who's a server, yes. right, at On the Border. We thank you for this, and now comes this part. This is uh, imperative to get all those flavors incorporated. You know, that's a step that's commonly missed if you're at your house. Can you overshake a margarita? I don't think so. No, okay. I don't think so. You can't give it a, enough love, I, I would always say. Okay. And On the Border knows what it's talking about and when i say it's we're talking about multiple locations yeah we have three here in the valley one down in tucson we have our awatuki location peoria and then out in superstition so uh stop by this friday for national margarita day and enjoy one of our great margaritas <clears throat> but of course we don't have to simply narrow it down to national margarita day they're good all the time oh all the time especially during happy hour three to seven come down to our patio um, and come see us and enjoy. Wouldn't you say, though, that it's important that you find some kind of a combination of wonderful additional goodies? I'm talking about the guac here, Seth. Yeah, no, we're going to go right into guac. So we have our, our delicious guacamole that we make table side uh, for you. We're going to uh, put just a little bit of salt in there to bring out those flavors, a little squeeze of some fresh lime. And then we're going to do our quick mash, keep it authentic, of course. See, when you do this table side at, at On the Border, uh, it, it just looks like the professionals know how to do this. And uh, it never tastes the same at home. That's true. That's true. That's why we're there for you. Seven days a week. Come down. Most important ingredient besides the guacamole, is, uh, besides the avocado. Uh, I would go with the cilantro. I mean, I'm a jalapeno guy, so I like the... Get that jalapeno, but like I said, because we do it table side, we'll make it any way you like it. Okay, and tell me one more secret, okay? You ready? Shannon, I appreciate what you've done, but this is Seth's job now. <laughs> Seth, Seth, we've made the margarita, we've made the margarita, we've made the guacamole, but before we actually enjoy the margarita, we still have to put salt around the edges of the glass. And I never seem to be able to do that right either at home. I, well, it's so the lime juice, having, having that there for you and the sponge to get that nice rim for you because you definitely need the salt uh, to round off those flavors on the margarita. Okay, so now where can I find all of these things, including Shannon? On the border, Awatuki, Superstition, or out in um, Peoria. Yes, and all I can tell you is, is I'm going to be doing this. I'll test it for you because... It's part of my job. 